All right, we have a fiction critique here with uh, James Woodwright, and this is the article Professions, Types of Placement. So we'll go through and start working on this and critiquing and at, uh, just going through the whole process. Uh, this, okay, this is, so this is a single column with a sidebar. We have the acknowledgments, we have references, Okay, so it looks like a lot of metadata is in the side column, so we can zoom in. <clears throat> Not really worry about... All right, there we go. Professions, types of placement. Elective jobs are those in which the person is elected to the position. These jobs are voluntary, but it's... It is others who vote for the candidates they want in that role. Example of elective jobs are mayors and wardens. Core jobs. Very straightforward, to the point, cool. Now, it, it, the article does seem to be jumping straight into the information, and there's not a, a, an explanation paragraph explaining what the purpose of this article is going to be that may or may not be necessary, depending on what you want for the article. But in and of itself, that those two paragraphs under here uh, work just fine. Okay, elective examples. You could... You could change the examples a little bit. You could just say, you know, examples, uh, you know, of elective jobs. Then you can have a bullet list of mayors and wardens. Um, if, if you want. If the list gets much longer than two or three, then I would recommend a list like this. But if it's just the two that you have here, uh, that could be simple enough. All right, core jobs. Core jobs are ones that people generally do in their day-to-day -day lives. They are, the, they are desirable or need a large amount of training. Okay, they are desirable or need a large amount of training. Why not both? Doctors are desirable and they require a lot of training. Um, so the, the idea of a core job uh, not sure what you mean by that, but okay, they're generally, they do in their day-to-day -day lives. They're desirable, need a large amount of training. These placements do not include things that people would do in their day-to-day -day lives that are seen as undesirables, undesirable, such as bin men or tedious, such as button makers. They would be considered to be extra employment positions. Okay, citizens typically start or apply for their first core job at 19 years. With the, fun, with the funds from this type of role, people should expect to be able to afford rented accommodations or with others depending on the pay grade of the role. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The application of a core job, the process of application, is similar to the process now that the potential worker finds a job poster and goes to have a conversation with one of the employees for the company if they both like each other, an interview may be offered. OK. 
Okay. Examples. Beekeepers, librarians, architects. All right, good. And good parallel. You have the examples as the last paragraph here. You have the examples as the last paragraph here. That's good. Now on this next section, the examples of this type, um, I would... I, I could see this one being made into a bullet list because we have one, we have three. Hmm. Maybe not. You have three. That's not too bad. Okay. Hmm. Extra, extra employment versus core jobs. They are assigned to do. Okay. These jobs tend to be in places in which the job is undesired or would be tedious to do. All jobs are part-time and the employer's welfare is key as without healthy, happy workers, you don't have productive employees. Hours are shared among the position the person has. Hours are shared among the positions the person has. Okay. This doesn't just include this type of employment. Also, it doesn't. Okay. This doesn't just include this type of employment. Also, with the person's welfare, where they live in terms of zone and segment are taken into account so that their training uh, to the role is not too big. Hmm. Hours are shared among positions a person has. Okay, that sentence still run, gives me a little bit, a bit of confusion. Okay. While all extra employment places are part-time, this is not the case for the job of a messenger. This is because it would take too much effort to re relieve, relieve a messenger from their duties if they were not at their station. Messengers are required to work most of the day for commercial operations at the warehouse and for personal reasons. Personal or personnel? Because, you know, if it's... Like... Uh, okay, and... If you're talking about staffing, about how many people are on their job and, and taking care of them, that would be personnel, E-L-L-E -L -L -E at the end, not personal. Um, okay, extra employment positions have levels. As the level goes up, so does the complexity of the role, as well as wages. Not all jobs are leveled as they don't have greater complexity, such as with the messenger. Others do have, such as a time setter. With the time setter, they can lower levels by changing the dates on clocks and in the public squares. At the highest, they are adjusting time on the clock for the purposes of daylight savings. With messenger, their, their career... Uh, progression doesn't end as they have the potential of getting a core job when the captain of the messenger retires. Okay. So here, you start off this paragraph pretty good, and so these first two and a half lines are talking generally about the position positions and the complexity and giving two examples one is a messenger one is a time setter 
where this highlight ends, I would actually add a paragraph because you are changing major ideas that you're talking about because no longer are you talking about levels of an employment and the complexity of the role, you are now talking about the specific details of what the time setter does. So whether it is just a simple, you know, add in a paragraph with a keystroke, or you move the second half of the paragraph somewhere else, is your choice. When a person with a lower level role becomes ill or unable to come to work for a couple days, a higher level person will take over the responsibilities until the lower level person returns to work. Okay, while these positions are assigned, the first five months is a job review period. After this time, they if they are good at their job they keep it however they not good at their job they are reassigned to new extra employment position okay i'm curious do you talk about who runs this second employment or hmm yeah, because I would like to know who runs it. Is it a government agency that conscripts or drafts people against their will to work in these jobs? I don't know. And are there private equivalents? I don't know. Okay. All right. Dual empl uh, Okay, did I read this? No. I'm back up here. When a person takes a person with a lower level role becomes ill or unable to come to work for a couple days, a a higher level person will take over those, their, the, the responsibilities until the lower level person returns to work. While these positions are assigned, the first five months is a, is a review period. After this time, if they are good at their job, they keep it. However, they are not good at their job. They are reassigned to the new extra achievement position position yeah review period could show probation probationary period Just thinking more about this. So you got a lot of information in here about the extra employment, but it just seems that we need more headers. You have the main text of it here, and then you have probation. But, okay. interesting okay but i would i think it would be really important to def define who runs the um extra employment and are there some people who only do extra employment part-time and then they do whatever the other time or are there some that have just
Yeah, okay, so under extra employment, we have management would be one. Um, you could put example job descriptions that say what you have as a head or two. It would be extra assignment positions, and then under that, you could have time setter as a, as a header three with a paragraph underneath it then you just rinse, you, you just keep repeating that over and over with for every single different job. That's what I'm saying. While these positions are, okay, we read that one. As a person gets older, they are permitted to have more than one position of this type. The first opportunity they can have another position is at 19. Okay, so 18 you can have one, 19 you can have two. As with extra employment placements, the person's well-being is taken into account so that they don't have an older person with a large number of roles. However, they must have at least one role of this, of this type. Okay, let's get the timer going. Okay, the first type of time a citizen will get this type of position is when they are 16 and on their last day of education, in which they have half a day education and the other half is their first day of the role um i consider rewriting that i'm not sure what of the role means when they are 19 and older they can um they can have another role when they are 19 or older and can have another role, it will be assigned to them at the city hall. If they look too tired or incapable of coping with additional roles, their right to another extra employment is restricted until they can prove they can cope with more assigned roles. What about, you said the day job people, what about those who want a higher level of of employment through a core not not through a core job here but but from a elective jobs no 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 core jobs The first time a citizen will get this... T okay, when they're 16. Okay, so, so this is a descriptive sentence. Their right to another extra employment is restricting that they can prove they can cope with more assigned roles. Okay. Is there a, an upper limit of how many assigned roles a person can have? Two... Three, you know, if I, um, it's interesting. On the last day of education, they are assigned their roles by pulling a folded sheet of A4 paper from a bag with the details of their role. The student may declare what they were assigned, it is considered a bad role if not declared. They finish education officially at their lunch break. After lunch, they head to their new positions for training. With funds from the role, it Probation. 
A citizen would like to have the first... Uh, okay. A citizen would have their first extra assignment... Uh, extra employment assigned to them in July. They have eight months to prove they can do the job they have been assigned. In March, if they have proved that they can do the role, they keep that role. However, if they... If, however, they can't do the role, they are assigned another role, and eight months preservation period restarts. The assignment process continues until the citizen has a job they can do. Examples of this type of employment position are fertilizer maker, barber assistant, and log cutter. So natural considerations or desires aren't taken into consideration. What if you really want to be a barber assistant? You know, can, can't you, could you volunteer for a specific one? All right. Dual, both core and extra, okay? Dual employment positions are those in which a person starts at a lower level um, extra employment. As they become more experienced and skilled at their job, they move um, they move to higher levels. Unlike extra employment positions where the position cannot progress any higher, in a dual position, the person will be promoted from an extra employment position to a core job if if the person is no longer or no longer has an extra employment position they shall they are assigned another this is a really long article with this type of employment the level denotes whether the job is extra employment or core job. So a level four redsmith is extra employment, but level five is a core job. Okay. Let's see. How some would how someone would get this type of jo job, this type of role is not through choice but through luck. These start as extra employment positions. It is the lock of the draw that someone would get an actual position. Dual jobs start out like extra employment in that they pull out the A4 paper, assigning them to the job, then progress through the tunnel, the levels to get to the core position level. Examples of this type of employment placement are bricklayer, carpenter, and redsmith. Okay. Craft job. A craft job is done in the spare time and holds the talent themselves. For an artisan variant, it, they would purchase raw materials to make items such as knitter, a knitter buying woolen yarn to make scarves and hats. For the entertainment aspect, they would have items or, inst or the instructions they need to perform their entertainments. For this type of craft job, they perform mostly Thursdays when the great day of celebration is celebrated. For the art artisan variant, they will make their products at home then sell products using word of mouth. For the entertainment variant, they will produce in the park... The, I'm sorry, for our, the artisan variant, they would make their products at home, so, okay, then sell products using word of mouth. For the entertainment variant, they would practice in the privacy of their home, but their main performance is in zone one, near the arena and busk whether the role of 
is the artisan type or the entertainment highly depends on what age the person will start. While there is no starting age, parents will want their child their child to be to be older as to not be as vulnerable if they are overtaken taking the entertainment variant. The artisan, artisan variant is more likely to be undertaken at home with the parents' guidance. Examples of this type of employment are knitter, contact juggler, and musician. Hmm. Just trying to... Payment. All payment for all employment placements are paid on a daily basis with analog bank accounts and it is up to the employee to spend or save money earned. National insurance and pensions are deducted from someone's pay, but this is done on a weekly or monthly basis. And so it is also the employer employee to ensure that they have enough funds in their bank accounts to pay for these expenditures. See AP. For those who have core jobs, income taxes will be deducted, unlike those who have extra employment. Um, at 16, citizens tend to not open bank accounts until they have their first extra employment and it's often the, their first payment in case. The banks will keep the money in stasis until the employee opens a bank account. This is done as a way to, as a way. This is done this way as checks would be a paper, waste of paper, even with pre-made notebooks. Okay, so that's the two sprints there. Benefits. Benefits from being employed depend on the type of job. Extra employment don't have pension entitlements. If extra employment, court, job, and dual require uniforms or personal protection gear, it is provided by the workplace. Some benefits such as the Red Smith can leave the workplace to install copper, sculpture, and foundations in the beekeeping industry are given jars of honey as part of their pay, sick pay. All types of placements apart from craft, craft jobs are entitled to sick pay that is proportional to the standard wage of sick pay system is set up in a way that encourages workers to do extra work when they come back so as to make up their further lost earnings. For example, standard wages may be 935 but would be reduced to 125 during the time of absence of wealth. At, uh, during the time of absence as well as for short periods when they come back. The workers then have to make up the shortfall in their wages by working extra hours for the agreed amount of time. This time is determined by doubling the amount of absence for missed days and hours, but not for weeks. Huh. This seems like to, this seems very a uh, directed, uh, managed economy. That's just really interesting. Okay, hopefully that this will um, you need you need more headers. You need more uh, details and examples. Um, just go through and think tip top the time the uh, time place topic or person. If any of those cho change, especially the topic, you need to add a new paragraph. Okay, with that, thanks a lot.